Do you need help dealing with poana and other hard to kill weeds in your warm season lawn? If so, click on the right video. Coming up, I show you one simple product that takes care of poana and a few other hard to kill weeds. Let's get started. Annual bluegrass, also known as poana, is a very common lawn pest in the Southeast United States. Probably in other parts of the country too, but it's really a huge issue here in Georgia and the Southeast. Uh, it typically germinates in the fall and winter months, and the way you'll know it is because whereas Bermuda goes dormant during the winter, poana is, is a little green spot a lot of times you'll see all throughout your lawn. It's a really pretty color green, but it's, it's a lawn pest, and if left unchecked, it can make a huge mess of your lawn. So how do we get rid of it? There's a couple of herbicides out there that target poana directly, uh, but in most, most of those, the ones that work really fast are both expensive or the way you have to mix them for a homeowner doesn't make a lot of sense. So the product we're gonna be using today is called Image. It's a really simple product that's able to use and it gives you a couple different options for applying it. So it comes in an RTS, a ready to spray version that you just simply attach to your, uh, your hose and spray. And there's also a concentrate version that allows you to mix it in a backpack sprayer and have a little more control over the application rate and, and how you put the product down. Both cases, uh, they cover 6,000 square feet. Um, so in this case of the of 6,000 square feet with a 24 ounce bottle, we know that we're gonna be able to apply up to four ounces of this product with a gallon of water to cover 1,000 square feet. So it's a really simple product to mix. In order to do so, you're gonna need obviously a backpack sprayer. You can need some way of measuring it. So in this case, I've got like my, uh, my measuring container here in ounce increments and as well as some marking dye. Now marking dye isn't strictly required for, um, for image. It's not really a, a super strong herbicide, um, but still just for anyone that's getting into using a backpack spur and if you wanna make sure that you have good coverage and that you're hitting the little spot, um, spots that you wanna hit in your lawn, um, marking dye is helpful. So let's get into it. So we're going for four ounces of the product. And there we go. That's four ounces. Maybe, maybe a touch generous, but that's a good pour. So, and the next thing we're gonna do is, because we're only gonna be spot spraying, uh, I'm only gonna mix about a gallon of this product. And when you're doing this, as always, um, make sure you keep the hose outside of the tank. We don't wanna be sticking the hose in the tank to prevent contamination. All right, so now we're gonna add our product, add our image. And again, we're just gonna pour this in here, just like so. And I'm going to also rinse the container out because I don't want any, any, any residue left back, so I'm just gonna lightly spray in here. Kind of like that. Just roll it around and pour that in there. Awesome. Next, let's add our marking dye. So again, I've got just, just, a, just a skosh measured out here. That, um, that blue laser marking dye that I really like, it calls for, I think it's half an ounce for a backpack sprayer. I've, put, I've just dribbled just a little bit in there, just a taste in there. So you can see this is gonna make it really easy for us to see where we sprayed in the lawn. Let's go ahead and shake this up now. We'll agitate this. All right, let's go spray some POA. So part of the reason why Alex had this issue with POA, you guys can see here, all this, all this green, is the way the drainage happens. POA, kind of like Nuts Edge, loves super wet areas. So he has drainage that comes off of this roof over the patio, and it comes down under here, and that water actually surfaces or comes out right here in the lawn. So you can see this whole area, when it rains really heavily, a lot of water settles here. So that's something that you need to be aware of when you're dealing with POA. I mean, anywhere you have a lot of water where it's prone to settle, is where you're gonna see it. Kind of like with Nuts Edge as well too. So to spray this, again, all we're gonna do is just get in here and make sure we wet the weed pro uh, adequately. Just like that. I'm just gonna just blanket this entire area because there's probably some here that we're not seeing. And definitely around this area here where we see the drainage where it's coming up. Make sure we get around there good coverage. You can see how the marking dye is really helpful as far as being able to see where you sprayed. It's very light in color, so you probably, I'm not sure if you're seeing it on camera, but it definitely lets me know where I've covered. And as far as how long it's gonna take this, this um, herbicide to work, um, Image is one of the slower acting ones. So what's gonna happen is that the total time to kill it uh, per the bottle is anywhere between three to five weeks. In one to two weeks, you should start seeing this, um, the, the POA beginning to yellow. And again, by the total of three weeks, it should be dead. The way, the way this product works is, is it kills the weed by starving. It interrupts photosynthesis. So it's a, it's a slower process. That's, why, that's what you get when you get a consumer grade um, herbicide versus some of the more powerful stuff. That's also a lot more expensive. 
So that's it guys, really that's the entire process whenever you're mixing POA in tank and applying it. Use a little bit of marker dice, you can make sure you can see where, where you're going and then just take your time and, uh, and hit all the different spots. It's not, not too difficult at all. As always, please like, share, comment. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I also have links in the description for image, the marking die, and this backpack sprayer in case you are in the market for one. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.